coming up in this week's edition of ICW Worldwide, which is from the Tag Team Ladder Match between the Sumerian Death Squad, the New Age Click and the Bucky Bucks. And also this week we've got footage from Fredo versus Mikey Whitler. If you want some, then come and get some! You wanna flow down? Now come to my cell! We got the hook up! Now you better get up! Now everybody crack it up! Hi there everyone and welcome to another episode of ICW Worldwide. I am Billy Kirk and this is of course the pervacious, pervacious Elvira You ain't got nothing on Veronica Lestrange and that's right boys, they are looking particularly perky. Hi yeah, guys. <laughs> on this week's episode we've got an absolutely packed one. We're going to kick off talking about the tag team title scenario here in ICW. Now, going all the way back to Reservoir Dogs last year when the Sumerian Death Squad made their debut, they challenged the Bucky Boys for the world tag team titles. They didn't win on that night, but they stole the belts, took them back to Holland, and at one point were actually officially recognised as the tag team champions. Now, the Bucky Boys would get the tag team titles back at Terminator 2 Judgment Day, but at a cost, the Sumerian Death Squad kidnapped the wee man. But finally, they came back, the Bucky Boys won, well, took ownership of the tag team belts again. Now, if Dave's not here, man, the Bucky Boys would defend the title against the three other top contender teams in ICW. Fight Club, The Coffees, and Team CK. But the New Age Clyde were watching from afar, they took out Team CK, can't subject to change, and settled themselves in the match, and in front of a packed crowd in Edinburgh, won the ICW World Tag Team titles. Then they took the belts, destroyed them, disrespected them. We've heard read things on Twitter that BT Gun did to one of the belts we don't even want to talk about, but they were a mess and absolute disgrace. The Sumerian Death Squad came back with a bang at Vera Loathen 6. They became number one contenders for the tag titles and they would take that title shot at a time that they seemed fitting. But the Bucky Boys still had unfinished business with the tag champs. So at the square goal, the Bucky Boys got their opportunity one more time at the World Tag Team title. It would be under New Age Click Freebird rules where all three members of the New Age Click could take on the Bucky Boys. What we had on that night was a controversial double pin. There was no winners, so Mark Dallas declared that the titles would be vacant and he'd be held holding them up and still smoking in a ladder match when the Sumerian Death Squad would cash in their tag team title shot. So we had the Bucky Boys versus the Sumerian Death Squad versus the New Age Clank. And we've got highlights of that for you right now. Are you ready? Oh my! For the garage has never jumped like this! Chris Renfrew can speculate by his absence. It looks like tonight he might not be wrestling in this contest. He's going to rest up because he has an opportunity to wrestle for the ICW World Heavyweight title later tonight. Saying that, Chris Renfrew would not pass up the chance to win gold twice. Oh God, no. I Only last night in a live q and I asked him, what are you looking forward to the most about still smoking? He said, I'm looking forward to winning two belts. Exactly what they did to the person. Let me make this clear. They Two very to scary right. men. Tommy End, Michael Dante. This is it, we're off! Oh, this is it. Six men will explain the rules very quickly. This is the first man match we've ever seen. It's the first team, the first member of one team to take down both those belts is declared the winner. And of course the titles that are hanging high in the air are the titles that were desecrated by the New Age Click. And it, it actually enrages them more and more that that is their property in their mind that is hanging from the ceiling right now. It's their property in their mind, but you know something? The Sumerian Death Squad still consider the belts their property. Every man in that ring, every team in that ring have a legitimate claim to that title. Here we go. See this going very long. It's not going to go long, and it's not going to end well. It's the two big men in this contest, Davey Boy and Michael Dante. Big leapfrog there. Oh, and, and an attempt to arm drag. Strength of Dante. In many ways, Davey is the biggest boy in ICW. Well, well, we all know that. We've seen the videos. Has he met Paul London? A member of the Mile High Club. Big Irish whip. Watch 
getting a float over. Fans, if you're watching this on DVD, if you're watching this on Worldwide, we're going to do our very beautiful. That is a man over six feet tall with a missile drop kick. Tommy End now back in the ring. Oh, beautiful kick there. Every man in this contest just so dangerous. Divers finally having his face rearranged. We can't but hope it'll finally start looking decent. It's like quantum leap. You never know what's going to happen next. Oh my God. Imagine Sam Beckett leaped into the middle of this. My God, that poor boy would be fucked. Oh, He'd never beautiful make it insecurity. Home. Take nothing away from Dickie Divers. Dante, I don't even know if he's left his feet. He's asking for the ladder. Are they going to do some paint and decorating? Coming over here, checking out jobs. Now, my boys, they're used to brawling within crowds, especially in the ABC amongst the night clubs. But they're going against the strategy right now. I'll have to urgently make it back in the ring, focus on those belts. They're actually fighting well over the back wall near the merchandise stand. I see a ladder still being carried through. Quite BT Gunn has a ladder, he's setting it up A here. ladder in um, the middle of the oh. crowd. Michael Dante slammed into the wall like a condom at a gangbang. That's what I do, I fly it like a dart, apparently. Out of a train window. God, yes. I don't want to get shit Do on. you see where BT Gunn is? He has a chair. He's created a... He's trying to keep Stevie Boy away. He's trying to get out there to get a BT gun. We don't know why. The Poison Prince. The Wolfgang! What? Wolfgang! Wolfgang! BT gun has no idea. They have nowhere to go, Billy Kirkwood. He come. We'll see him later on tonight in the World Heavyweight Title Match. I don't think Cameron's doing it justice, Billy Cartwright. You have no idea how high these men are. We know that Paul London and Brian Kendrick have been that high, but I don't think BT Gunn has. It's interesting that BT Gunn right now is over his own merchandise, the big issue. Well, the other four competitors in this match are still brawling below. They've no idea. They can't see what's going on. Oh my God! It has been one of the most personal rivalries in ICW. I, I really don't know what to say anymore, Barry. That Wolfgang threw BT Gun onto the rest of the Bucky Boys and the Samaria Death Squad. I'm going to be honest with you, Sean. I didn't even think he knew they were there. Now that Wolfie has been alive with the Bucky Boys, but it's more than that, it's just that everyone hates the NAK. They have got no friends outside of the soup kitchen. Speaking of the Bucky Boys, here we go. Davey Boy is going to throw in Tommy End into the Davey Boy, the competitor he is, has not forgotten the fact that the this ladder. is... That had a pro opportunity. No one else in the ring. Well, you know what? It makes perfect sense to get rid of the ladder. Someone else is going to get in there. Oh! Give them the chance. Jesus. It's on the end. Oh, he's dangerous. He, a, a master of mixed martial arts as well as pro wrestling. Dickie Divers is back in the ring. Divers is going to have to go off. Pump handle slam. Oh, that it's was. It's a power bomb. This could be it. A nasty, nasty move, Billy. It's not just about winning wrestling matches with the New Age click. It's about hurting. It's about decimation. They won the titles back, but he took his eyes off. Big Dante! The big, the big monster just sent divers flying. I dare anyone in the NFL to, to do that. Stevie Boy is back in the ring. I, I think Dante... Dante's gone! There was actually a look of just sheer surprise in Dante's face. I don't think he could believe Stevie Boy is still up. Stevie, this, this is your chance. Almost unstoppable. Stevie Boy coming back from almost what we thought was career ending, into his career ending news, just as this frightening ability. Stevie I don't know Boy, if, I don't know if he was looking ring. for support. I think he was looking to see if Davey was at ringside. 
Stevie, shake off the achy haze. Get yourself out there. Oh! It's Renfro! Renfro! Chris Renfro! The Stone Cold Stoner! Not like this! Well, BT Gunn is out of commission, which means the NAK required another member. Some say they stole the titles almost eight months ago from the Bucky Boys. Are they the going to do it again? But Dave's not here. Now, I'm no math scholar, I'm no Rachel Riley, but there's three of them. Two Bucky Boys, two Death Squad, and that's all we change. Come on, Davey Boy! Davey! Oh! Davey Boy spearing the number one contender to the heavyweight title. Divers and BT Gun walking through the count, they want nothing more of it. I don't think Renfrew even knows. It's me right now, but Stratzy in control. Down goes Davey Boy. Oh my! A double stop almost right to the heart of Davey Boy. And no one I know in the, in the land of professional wrestling has a bigger heart. But this looks like one of those snuff movies. Oh, wait a minute. The SDS are back in the ring. Big Dante. Dante, Dante in charge of Stevie Boy here. It's a media death squad. Are the new tag team champions? That was 15 minutes. I dare say it's taken 15 years off all of these men's lifespans. If you have been affected by any of the, the, the events addressed here this, in this match, there's information on the ICW website, insanewrestling.co.uk. The Sumerian Death Squad said they were coming back to not just win the titles, to take out the Bucky Boys, to break their hearts. They wanted it to be their night. They wanted it more than anything. They knew this was going to be a challenge. Tommy N and Michael Dante, last time they just took the deal, were on the losing end. They took the titles back. But tonight, legitimately win of Dante spitting on the belt. Well, there we have it there. The Sumerian Death Squad, the new ICW World Tag Team Champions. Yeah, quite a reputation coming into ICW and very much on that. I mean, you've had a run in the Sumerian Death Squad. Yeah, these guys are serious. I mean, they, they told me how Dante stood in my head. Um, they battered me basically, chucked me out of the room and our back screaming up the stairs. Um, I would never put myself in that kind of situation ever again. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lot of staff here, there's a lot of wrestlers here concerned about the Sumerian Death Squad having that. Hey Chris Renfro, I didn't know it was that easy to get under your skin, but it's a nice weakness you've just exposed. The interruption there, the Sumerian Death Squad already taking control and causing more chaos than ever before. I could just say, you are always after the security on this. Fucking things up. We have a lot of connections. We are funded by the Sumerian Death Squad. Well, Billy, you know how you showed me something last week? I've got something I really want to get off my chest to show you. Sweet. Do you want him? Uh, yes. Well, there's a pair of them. Okay. A lot of people want to see them. Finally! It takes a lot of hard work and dedication to get your hands on them. Oh yeah. It's the ICW Tag Team Title Belts! Here they are! Yay! Are you not, are you not happy? No, I'm happy. They look amazing. It's just that... What? Just... Alright, well for playing that game, before I go and deal with a problem that's came up, I'm going to show you two things. And there we go, the first two matches are announced for Show Me Your Lizard ICW sold out show April 27th here at the garage in Glasgow. But it's not the only sold out show, we've now sold out our debut show in London. Tickets completely gone and stay tuned to ICW for an announcement of more shows coming your way. We're just taking over the world, motherfucker. 
But talking about taking things over, I'm talking about rivalries brewing away, we're going to talk about one of the biggest in ICW history. It is Mikey Whiplash versus Grado. We've got a very special music look at it. Let's take a look. There was a boy, a very strange, enchanted boy. They say he wandered very far, very far, over land and sea. A little shy and sad of eye, but very wise was he. And then one day, a magic day, he passed my way. And while we spoke of many things, fools and kings, this he said to me, the greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. Some fat little bastard dancing around, jumping up and down on a trampoline. You know what, Grado, you found out something tonight. A wrestling night ring isn't a trampoline. When you hit it, you don't bounce back up. When you hit it, you stay down. Dead. <laughs> it's time from the top end of Stevenson. The People's Champion, Greedo! That's Michelle McManus! That's Michelle McManus! Are you serious? Michelle McManus wasn't supposed to be here! Fuck you, Madonna! I would touch Madonna, but I tap Michelle McManus. The sellout crowd, the former pop idol winner, is singing our man Gradle to the ring. And I don't think I've ever said like a player said so good. They'd sung out of a Scottish diva. This crowd can't believe their eyes. It's a fantastic moment, but let's not take away anything from this. This is perhaps the scariest, the most important match of Graham Stevely's career. Grado is here for Grado versus Whiplash 3. Yeah, there he is. No music. No music. No pop no circumstance for this No man. singing. He said that Grado, there's no jokes, there's no catchphrases, there's no inverted brackets celebrity endorsements. He does his talking, he does his work in that ring. He's not on TV shows, he wasn't. Barely featured an insane fight club. When you think about it, when you think of how Whiplash used to have a sort of evil persona, this sort of character that he put forth, it was all about mind games. Whereas you look at Grado, Grado's just been himself, but there is nothing more intimidating than that. Mikey Whiplash. Mikey Whiplash there. He said one simple thing to me in the back. He said, Grado's career was born in the hearts of these fans, but it will end in that ring tonight. They were due to face off, and I can't one more time, Mikey Whiplash obviously had that freak accident. 
The brothers in grappling. Mikey Whiplash was bleeding. Some said could have bled out in the ring that night. Guerrero took his single off. Helped stem the flow of blood. But Mikey Whiplash came back. Some say more deranged, more evil than ever. And some say more focus shot than it. Let's face it, we were told by doctors it was a miracle that Mike Willis actually survived that big accident. And, you know, you can attribute that to the efforts, the valiant efforts of the ICW officials and Grado, who we all expected Mike Whiplash to be thankful for. Mikey Whiplash has said that he thinks Grado is the worst thing that's ever happened to ICW. The worst thing that's ever happened to pro wrestling. He said British wrestling died once before. He could kill it again. Not on a few. Many people see it, Sean. Everyone seems to be swept up in Grado Mania, but not Mikey Whiplash. Oh. In terms of conditioning, in terms of physical attributes in that ring, we've got to give it to Mikey Whiplash, but take nothing away from Grado. Beautiful leapfrog. Oh! And there you go, palm strike, as you said, Billy Kirkwood. How does it work for Whiplash? Just giving Mikey Whiplash a taste of his own medicine. Take nothing away from Grado. He's favoring his left eye as well. This young man can go. Double axe handle there at right side. Play right elbow. hand. Oh, a headbutt there. Has to do a lap around the ring right now. It's all Grado as far as offense is concerned. They made no bones about it, right? These two don't like each other, right? It's not just a one-way street with Mikey Whiplash. Grado doesn't like Mikey Whiplash because of the things he said, because of this control he tries to have over the referees backstage, over trainees that are coming in here. It's just, Mikey Whiplash just seems to hate everyone. And wait a minute, he's got the fists up. The fighting, the fighting Ersherman has got his hands up. He's ready. Boom! Oh, he went to go for that elbow there. And once again, it's the show button that is going to be to Grado's disadvantage. Beautiful neck breaker! <laughs> oh no! 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 I cannot believe it. He actually signaled. He put a gun to his head pretty much. He said he was going to attempt it. That's two suicide dives. He's over that barrier now. That shows you the risks that he is willing to the take to take time. out Grado. The last time he did that, he almost skewered himself One like more. a sister up. Oh, but you Grado see got that? Out of the way. Grado. Grado managed to catch him and threw him over his head. The last time Mikey Whiplash did that, we saw that brutal injury where he actually set up and... I think Whiplash landed on his feet though. That was just terrifying, Sean David. Could have been a lot worse. Whiplash didn't care. Two, that could be it. Grado still suffering the effects of the first two attempts there. Whiplash really favouring that leg. He's actually... Oh, Chris, oh! Possum. He took the ultimate risk. He's... Roll slice! Oh! It's the rolling slice. I think he's going for it again. Give him Whiplash a taste of his own medicine. Oh my God, Grady Bastard going for a third. Oh! Oh. He does have not any care for his own body. Oh! A rolling slice of his own! That's not a rolling slice. Sean David, that was a pizza of pain. He flattened, flattened Grado. A calzone of chaos. Wrestling today. Everyone said when this man wanted to come into ICW, you can't do it. You won't do it. And one of the loudest voices was Mikey Whiplash. He represents everything he hates. So this is it. No! Smartly hit the leg, but a two count only for Mikey Whiplash in this case. And you know what? I don't think we'll address this either. But Mikey Whiplash coming out here as a deadpan, 100% serious athlete has been wearing black patches under his eyes, which is actually known for diffusing the light from the spotlights. Once again, another premeditated message from Mikey Whiplash that he is shunning the spotlight that Grado is after. Grado's trying to get to his feet. I think he's actually trying to wave off Mikey Whiplash. These men were at one point respectful of each other here in ICW. Oh! 
We've seen this before. Try to go for it. No. Big close line. Great hands from Grado. Oh. And he the elbow. It. The prone elbow right to the top of the head. Mikey Whitlash totally discombobulated. He's dizzier than a junkie on a wall sauce. He's got him up. Yeah, five. Oh! Oh, but did you see that right at the top of the head? This could be it. One, two, it's over. No! Shine a light in the black heart of Mikey Whiplash. He's going for it again. Oh! I've got to believe that's it. Look at that. Rolling straight through, no wasted motion. Oh! oh! A centre attempt from Mikey Whiplash goes nowhere. He's gesturing for the wee bit. He catches it! Whiplash could be out! This Very is near it, the one. Ropes, however, yeah, this it's be... over! No! Whiplash getting the ropes smartly. Great ring awareness. Grado has been waiting for one more chance to beat Mikey Whiplash, and Whiplash has been waiting for an opportunity to end Grado. Still a swelling of fans. This match has now got what, 15 minutes, Sean David? Oh no! No, a backslide! Backslide attempt! Oh, oh, men were he's got a leg! He's, got, he's going back for the STF! The Stevenson toe face lock! He's got it in! He's got it in deep, Sean! He's got it very deep! Mikey Whiplash is right in the middle of the ring! He's, he's at least three feet away from the ropes! He's too far away! And at this point in the match, we'll see him out! He tapped out! That was it, it was too much for Mikey Whiplash. Grado has finally got the victory. Holy shit. I've never seen Mikey Whiplash tap out, but tonight he tapped out to his arch nemesis. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Grado! <laughs> See there, is it finished, Sean? Can it be finished? I don't think Mikey Whiplash would have tapped out if he didn't think he was going to fight another day. I think he is going to convalesce. I think he might want to take some time to himself and rethink what he is doing in ICW. Look at this though. Guido almost gesturing. Two men to have such sick hatred against each other can almost bond you in a way that you can't ever understand. We won't, Sean. We're not competitors like that. Grado almost appealing to Whiplash. We have to end this. This can't keep on going throughout the ages of here in ICW. We're getting ready to open the door into a new chapter in British pro wrestling. Grado appealing. And don't make anything wrong, Whiplash didn't just want to win. He wanted to end Grado tonight. It didn't happen. Whiplash's plan. Oh my God! Did not come to fruition. I bet Mikey Whiplash never expected to be doing this right now. Raising Grado's hand at the end of a 17 minute battle. Grado, that's you. You've oh, done okay. it. Be your Whiplash. After all this time, it's over. That's it. It's done. I'm over the moon. I'm absolutely delighted. This is the best night of my life. Michelle McManus. The second ever pop out. We've got pop out going on. She won a pop out. I think it was 2004. Whatever. She sang like a prayer in it the night and she was fucking amazing. It was a pure mania moment, but I tell you right here now, beating Mikey Whiplash was the best feeling in the world because Mikey Whiplash and me don't go on, but the night we settled our differences and in the end, I finally won. And I'm out of the moon and I'm going to party. It's just so! Yay! Right, come on. <laughs> Grado is absolutely elated there. He's finally beat Mikey Whiplash in a long standing feud. I'm so glad that it's over for him. I'm so happy for him. We're talking about things that are over. This episode of ICW Worldwide is over. We will catch you next time, 9 o'clock Thursday night. But make sure to tune on to uh, insanewrestling.co.uk. You can also follow us on Twitter, you can follow us on Facebook. Apparently, we've got fucking Instagram. Probably still got a MySpace page. Everything you want. Make sure to check out our sponsors, squaredcircle.biz. Oh, not wearing one of their shirts, never mind. <laughs> we will see you next time at ICW Worldwide. I am Billy Kirk and this is Veronica Lestrange, who actually played the part of Scrooge McDuck. Thank you, Wikipedia.